All right, tonight's video is going to look at sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. We're going to explore how each one of them forms and how each one gets classified. We'll start with sedimentary rocks and then we'll move on to metamorphic rocks second. So first off, we'll talk about this stuff called sediment because that's what's going to combine together to make our sedimentary rocks. So sediment is any small solid pieces of material that come from rocks or living things. So it can include pieces of shells, bones, leaves, stems from trees, as well as small pieces of rock like sand or gravel. And a series of processes that we'll talk about in a second are going to turn this sediment into a sedimentary rock. So sedimentary rock is going to be made up of these little pieces of sediment. So let's talk about how this sedimentary rock can form. So the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to need some kind of erosion. So heat, cold, rain, waves, ice, etc. are going to break up and wear away rocks on the Earth's surface, right? And so then that water or wind will move this eroded rock away, all right? And it's going to end up being carried downstream. So we've got these tiny pieces that are now moving away. Deposition is our next step. These are going to get deposited or settled out of the water or wind that's carrying them, all right? So usually this happens at the bottom of a lake or ocean, right? You can see clearly in this picture this river is carrying sediment out to the sea, out to the, to the end of the river. You've got a very brown river because of all the sediment in it, but when it gets out into the water, that water is going to slow down, and all that sediment is going to fall to the bottom because of gravity. Next, that sediment will get compacted together. So the river is going to keep flowing and keep bringing more sediment, and we're going to get piles and piles and piles and piles and piles of sediment keeping piled on top of the old stuff will push those old layers deeper underground and the weight is going to squeeze them together. And then finally, these layers will get cemented together and form a new rock. So dissolved minerals that were still in that water, the water is now getting totally squeezed out and the dissolved minerals are going to crystallize and act like a glue or a cement to hold the whole rock together. So we can classify sedimentary rocks into three types based on what they're made of. They're all going to form in this general way, but depending on what is being compacted together and cemented together, we'll get different things. So we have three types of sedimentary rocks. The first is called a clastic rock, and this is kind of what we think of as a sedimentary rock. This is our clastic, our no pun intended, classic sedimentary rock. Right? So this is formed from small pieces of other rocks that have been crushed together. So things like sandstone, shale, conglomerate, made up of tiny pieces of other rock. This is what we tend to think of when we think of sedimentary rocks, but we call those clastic rocks. Our next type is an organic rock formed from the compacted remains of other living things. So stuff like coal and limestone, right? This limestone picture you can see clearly here has little pieces of shell in it, right? So this is an organic rock. And then we have chemical rocks, right? And this is basically a type of mineral, right? And it's formed when minerals crystallize from a solution. So veins would be considered a chemical sedimentary rock, even though it's a little weird to think of them in that way. Rock salt, we would call a chemical sedimentary rock. So sedimentary rock types, in conclusion, are classified based on what the rock is made of. Now we're going to look at metamorphic rocks quickly. Right? A metamorphic rock forms when an existing rock, either igneous sedimentary or metamorphic is going to undergo intense heat and pressure deep underground over millions of years and it's going to change that existing rock into a new rock all right now that new rock this new metamorphic rock is going to have some similarities to the original rock but it will also be have some clear differences in the same way that cookie dough has clearly some similarities to the cookies that form from it but they're not the same thing all right, so we're basically baking this existing rock over millions of years into a new rock. And we have two types of metamorphic rocks. These are really straightforward. We have what are called foliated rocks. These are metamorphic rocks that have a banded pattern of grains. So if you were to look at it, you would see that the grains line up in a nice, neat pattern. Types of metamorphic rocks. All right, and this is an example of a rock called gneiss. Right, pronounced just like you're a nice guy. Right, and here the grains you can see are clearly lined up in a pattern. Right? And this is forms from granite. Then we have non-foliated rocks, 
are metamorphic rocks without a banded pattern of grains. So stuff like marble, right? This marble, which forms from limestone, clearly has no pattern to the grains at all. Definitely not compared to this nice sample above. Right? So that would be considered a non-foliated rock. So metamorphic rocks are classified based on their appearance. All right, that is your last set of notes for the year. All right, make sure that you are ready to go for class on for the next class. We're going to do an activity to review all the different types of notes, and then you'll have your rocks quiz and a notebook check with all of your reflections on either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on which class you are in. And I will see you guys tomorrow.